You're going to put your one knee behind the mat and one knee behind the roller. Extend the leg that's behind the mat. Drop your hip crease right above your leg, right onto that roller right there. Bring that other knee up on the mat because that could hurt going into the floor. And then put your elbows on the floor, but don't lean on them. I really feel it if you lean on them. Your toe is in the floor, so it's flexed into the floor. And you just rock in that crease. Just start to rock in that crease right there. Good. Nice, just rock in it. And feel the groin opening up. So literally, the roller should be stabbing you right in the middle of your body. Right there, yeah. So back and forth, good. Let's get it. Let's open it up. Good. A few more, four. I really want it to feel open. That's why I'm doing so many. Three and two and one. Because the next thing we're gonna do is flatten the foot. So now we wanna have a lot of opening here when the leg is draped over the roller, when this body is draped over the roller to, to move in that, in that joint. So from here, I'd like you to roll down just to right below the, the, the crease and back up into it, just about two inches. You're not going very far at all, just two inches. Keep your foot from going into the floor. Just let it slide, the top of the foot slide back and forth. This is a different movement than we've done before. But I want to open it up in the direction of the leg. This helps the hip actually. So if you have hip sensitivity, this will actually help the hip because it pulls in the wraparound of that rotator muscle. You know, everything's a rotation of those big joints like our shoulders and our hips. All right, back into the hip crease and let the knee rest on the floor. And then stack your hands and put your head on the floor. And then you're gonna curl up and down, keeping the leg connected to the floor. Three, four, good, five, six, so I want you to keep your heads down, seven, but keep the L, uh, neck into neutral position, eight, and nine, taking your foot all the way to the glute, or as far as you can go, 10, and hold it there, hold it there. Now, while you're holding it, I want you to do little rolls inside that muscle. There we go, good. Good, here we go. Now, lift the leg a little bit off the floor and extend again. So now you're in extension, you're pointed, but your foot is off, not touching the floor. Your head is still down. I want that chest and head to be on the floor. So that you're getting the most stretch in the groin muscle that you can get. Now we're gonna roll down two inches again, keeping that foot off the floor. Good, down and up. Good, we did all that IT band in front of the IT band, behind the IT band last week. So this is a good place to go. This is more focused. Good, now drop it back into that groin muscle. And then you curl again, all the way to the glute. To keep your head facing down, I'm just turning so it can hit the mic. Good, yeah, you can feel the hamstring. It's really working. Nice, and it's connecting to the front of your leg. Nine and 10, hold it here. Little pulses inside of the groin muscle. Nice. Okay, now take it all the way down and let it drop onto the floor again. Now I'd like you to come back up onto your elbows, have the foot on the floor. You're gonna sweep it to the end of the roller and center. Sweep and center. Sweep. So now we're not going to just try to extend it in one direction. We're going to try to give it extension all the way around so that you get that nice long feeling and not that crunched up feeling that we have after sitting at our desks. If those of us, many of us are sitting at our desks all day, or even worse, sitting at the TV. Three more. Three and two. Upper body is neutral. And one. Hold it there. You're going to try to lift it off the floor at that extension. And you can feel the muscle jumping up the side of your body. Good. And then take it back in. Good job. Put your head on your hands, your chest down again. Then you're going to take your foot to a 90 degree angle behind you. Loosen up the ankle. 
We're not pointed right now. We're not pointed. Just relax. So you're coming down the two inches again. Back into the hip crease. Down. Back into the hip crease. Down. Back into the hip crease. Good. Let's do five more. Five. We're really feeling it. Four. Three. Good. Two. Perfect. And one. Now sit inside that hip crease and take the knee to the right and left. Your windshield wiring with that leg. Don't let the foot come too close to the glute. I want it to be as much as a 90 degree as possible. So you're side to side. You're still, chest is still on the floor. Good. Four more. And three. Neutral foot. Two. Now hold it to the inside and one little lift. Ten. Nine. The knee is pointing toward the other leg. Seven. Six. Five. You feel that hip really working. Two and one. And bring it back to the center and let it go all the way down again. Come on back up onto your elbows. Roll it down to the middle of the thigh. You're gonna go a little bit longer than those two inches. Down to the middle. There we go. So we're ironing out all the connectors that go into the groin muscle, into that hip crease. This is so important for the health of our piriformis, our sciatica, our SI joint, the connection between our glute and our thighs. Life is important. Two more, two. And one. Now stay in the hip crease. You're going to come up onto your foot and down. You're going to roll on. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Four more. Nice. Three. You've got it. And two. And hold it on the side on one right here. Little pulses 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2, and 1, and bring it back down. Nice job. So, from here, we're going to roll up to the belly button and back to the hip crease. Good. Up to the belly button and back to the hip crease. Up to the belly button and back to the hip crease. Up to the belly button and back to the hip crease. Up to the belly button and back to the hip crease. That's three and two. Good. And now I can see my screen. And last one right here. So we really feel that. Now you're going to sweep the leg inward and center. Inward and center. Inward and center. Four more and three more and two more. And one more, and now, big roll, all the way to the belly button, all the way to the middle of the thigh, go up and down, up and down. I'm gonna have to move him. Up and down, up and down, up and down. He's a star, but he's not that much of a star. Four more, and three, and two. Last one and sit in that hip crease. Come on up to your hands and feel the difference, right? If you run your hand down your groin on one side and on the other side, you can see that you have a lot more room on the side that you have just stretched. So, hey, baby, let's go to the other side. So, taking your roller to the other side, you're going to do the same thing right here. I'm going to do it this way. Right here. So, your knee is behind you on the mat. Your knee is behind your roller. Pull one knee on the mat. Extend the leg. Drop it onto the groin muscle, onto the, onto, the, onto the hip crease. Make sure you're getting stabbed with your um, roller and roll back and forth. Let's open that up. Good. Nice job. Again, I like a little bit extended warm up right here. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. You got this. All right. So let's take it down a couple inches and up. Down a couple inches and up. You got it. It feels good to open all this stuff up. You just don't even know how tight it is because you're not paying attention to it. It's just part of the body. It gets used without, unless it hurts, doesn't get much attention, right? But it's used almost more than any other part of the body. So it's kind of interesting that we can be so 
negligent of something so important. All right, head on the hands, point the toes. Good, point them all the way out. You're gonna curl and extend, curl and extend, curl and extend, curl and extend. Good, five more. Drop your shoulders, four. I know your shoulders are up by your ears. Come on, drop them, three and two. Hold it up here on the one. And little shakes right inside that groin muscle. And then take it down a couple inches and up. Down a couple inches and up. Down a couple inches and up. There we go. You wanna feel that opening. Yes, however it comes. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice. And bring it back down. You're going to stay on your, you're going to stay with your chest on the floor. I'm going to look. But I need you to point that foot really hard off the roller and then come down a couple inches and up. So the, this time the foot leg is not touching the floor, but your chest is still draped over the roller because you still want to get that long extension right up through there, right? Five more. Four, keep it long. Three, nice job. Two, you've got it. And one, good. Now curl into the glute, bring it in and out. You're sitting inside that hip crease, drop those shoulder blades, come on. Let go of the hands, don't crunch the hands together. Good, five more. Five, I know you. Four, three, perfect. Two, you've got it. And one, and then let it go all the way to the floor. Then you sweep to the end of the roller. Sweep it out and in. Inhale and exhale. Pull that belly button to the spine as it comes in. Support that back. You've got it. Nice. Perfect. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job. And bring it up to that. Uh, 90 degree bend, and this one is a relaxed foot. Come down two inches, up, down and up. Inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale. Come on, you can do this back and forth. Five more, and four, and three, good. And two, and one right here. Now we windshield wiper in and out. In and out, in and out, in and out. Eight more, seven, neutral foot, six, five, fill in the glute, four, three, two, hold the inside on one little lift, 10, nine, eight out, seven, six, five, four, Three and two and one. Bring it back to the center to let it go all the way down. Now back up on your elbows. Come down to the middle of the thigh and up. Down to the middle of the thigh and up. Good. You got it. Nice job. Six. Five. Four. Three. Nice. Two. Good, and one. Now you're going to the side. You're going to take it up and down. Good. Inhale and exhale. You're coming onto the side of your hip. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. Six, five, four. Nice. Three. You got it. Two. Now hold it up here on one of the little pulses. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And bring it down. Now roll down to the middle of your thigh and up. Down and up. You're getting that groin muscle, all that combination. This is so good for your hip. I can't even tell you how much it pulls away from your jammed up traffic jam of your hip muscles, um, joints, and nerves. So that's where a lot of our calamity happens is in that piriformis SI joint sciatica conjunction. So this is really, really good for it. 
All right, and then right here, we're gonna sweep the leg in and in and in and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go to the belly button to the middle of the thigh. Belly button to the middle of the thigh. Belly button to the middle of the thigh. You got it. Yes. Six more. Six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And sit on that. Put your hands under your shoulders. Bring yourself over to your mat. Sit back into child pose. Push through, push through, push through. Bring yourselves up and feel how even now your groin muscles are, how open they become. Your waist is actually higher because you've pulled everything into position, okay? So now we're gonna do some upper body. Let's get the mat out of the way. So we get some upper body done. I do my housekeeping around here. Yes. All right, so we're gonna lie down in front of our roller. Make sure it's the bottom of your cage. Don't go on anything soft. The most important thing about this is to wrap your arms around your head. That's pretty important. You to bring yourself up into a, a bridge and roll up and down. Make sure you have those backs nice and wide. Close those elbows around your face. Do not listen to people who tell you to open them. Otherwise they're open and they're tight, not open and uh, flexible. I mean, your chest is open, not your back. You want your back to be open, not your chest. Keep going up and down. You go to the shoulder pads and then to the bottom of the ribs, but not on the floating ribs, right? Let's just keep going. Oh, this feels really good for me. All right, we did a lot of skull last week. This week we're going to do some of the shoulder blades, some of the connection and from the pec all the way to the shoulder blade. So at, right below the shoulder blade, I want you to just lean your elbow toward your waist. So one side, whether it's your left side or your right side, lean it down toward your waist and now go up and down again. This time you're gonna feel a lot of pressure on that shoulder blade and the muscle combination, right? And then on the other side, we get an extension, right? Flexion and extension, it's all part of the package. Good. Now bring it back to center and give me four. Make sure you do full range of motion. Over my clock, okay. Now drop to the other side. Same side, uh, same arm, same side. So I did left, now I'm doing right. So right elbow, shoulder, right waist. Go up and down, keep that nice and tight. As you go up and down, feel the pressure that's opening behind the deltoid. The rear deltoid wants to have some love too. And it will release the chest, by the way. The more you can open up these back muscles, the more you can release tightness in your chest. We have a lot of tightness in my family. And then come to the center and go up and down. Nice. Good. Now let's hang out under those shoulder blades for a second. Keep those arms nice and tight around your face. Good. And you're going to take your elbows all the way to one side, keeping them above the roller, through the middle, all the way over to the other side, getting flexibility. I love to do bench presses, and this is the perfect counter, counter exercise for those. Push-ups and bench presses. Yes, although I don't have any weights. Four more. And three. Oh, this feels so good. Can we just do this for the rest of the day? Two. And last one. Okay. Come back to the center and go up and down four times, and then we'll move on to our alignment moment. Okay. Lower your glutes to the floor, put your hands above your chest. You're gonna push your legs out and your arms are gonna go up above, drop those shoulder blades, bring your elbows down so that you soften before you even get to the bottom. Big inhale and exhale, drop those shoulders, one and lower. 
slide it up and roll your shoulders. I'm out of camera completely and roll your shoulders back. There we go. And then roll your shoulders forward. Okay, let's do our alignment. So you put your roller on the floor, put your mat beside it. Beautiful. And then you're gonna sit on your roller. And you're lying for a minute today, not two minutes, because we just did such great opening exercises for our back and our chest. Now we, we're pretty covered. All right, so sit on the end, make sure you're lifted, and then curl down vertebrae by vertebrae. Make sure you put all the places in position before the next piece comes down. All right, so the head, lift your glutes and move them down the roller, lift your chest and move it up the roller. You wanna create a big long line here. Keep your legs apart, belly button to the spine. Do not push your lumbar into the roller. Make sure you're on the back of your head, not the top of it, so that your chin is toward your chest. Take your arms and wrap them around your roller and open up into lifted chest. Here you go. Nod your chin down, breathe into it. So. I'm going to spend a minute here just doing alignment. The goal of this is, is to kind of put your vertebrae into position and to create a feeling of framing in your entire body. So if you feel like your, your uh, hip and your shoulder and your knee and your heel have an association with each other, that vertical link that's in here, kinetic chain, then you are accomplishing that feeling of alignment, that these things are all part of one system. Right? In, in, in places where we isolate a lot, it's important to also acknowledge kind of the larger picture, the, the macro picture of it all. So we want to always know our head is over our tailbone. We're always calling alignment into, into the forefront. So don't push your lumbar into the floor. You don't want to tilt your pelvis at all. You want to keep that Pilates neutral spine. This is so good for your back and it's so good for your sense of stability and your stance. And it also works against the constantly folded bodies that those of us who are doing desk work are uh, in the position of. So we don't wanna have constantly folded bodies. How about 15 more seconds? And then we'll move on to our final stretch. Remember too that this is an incredible way to relax during the day or in the evening. I would say in the evening, if you could just take a minute, what's a minute out of your life, right? And lie down on your roller like this. It doesn't feel, I mean, it feels like a lot. Get the roller out and put it in the middle of the floor and I'm in the middle of this. But it's a minute, just a minute to lie down on your roller. So I wouldn't uh, skip that opportunity. And then you can get into places like you're reading the mail or you're on the phone or whatever. You get your body onto the roller. Let's roll onto our mats. Nice soft roll. Feel your back open up. Well, that's incredible. Now put your feet under your leg or your roller under your knee and then just bring yourself up. It goes above the, the tailbone below the lumbar. So don't push it into the lumbar. It has to be on that hip structure. Feet are in front of the knees. Make sure you're open in the upper body. Right leg to tabletop. That means right over the roller. Left leg to tabletop. Don't bring it in because that's about the glute. Don't take it away because that arches the back. So we want it right over the roller. It is side by side but not tight. So we're not narrowing our hips towards the center. Right foot to the ceiling and left foot to the ceiling right here. Good. Get a nice long stretch. Feel, feel your quad pop. I mean, really let it go strong and tall. Good job. Now relax it a little bit. We don't want a hard, hard thing here. Inhale, one leg down and grab onto it with the with the uh, respective arm. So it's left hand, left leg, right arm, right leg. And then push the other leg away. It's also dynamic. Do not think that it's resting. You're gonna pull down. Big inhale and exhale, lower down. Big inhale and exhale, lower down. Big inhale and exhale. Lower down. Big inhale and exhale. Long one. Lower down. And hold. So one of the th ways that we get more flexibility is by massaging our groin. And that brings 
immediate response from the hamster on the other side. So if you get in there with your thumb or your finger and you massage it, you can feel that leg release on the other side. That's one of the ways to get more flexibility. And hold it right there. Nice. Make sure you're pointing that other leg out. It is dynamic. Don't put both hands here because that wraps your shoulder around. We don't want to compromise one body part for another. Right now we're trying to get into stretch and not strength. Okay. Keeping that leg where it is, take your hand off of it, but leave it where it is. Bring the other leg up to the ceiling so you have to stretch. You're familiar with this. Flex both feet, point both feet, flex both feet. Really feel the pull up the back of your hands. Flex both feet, all right, point both feet. Now flex and turn them up. Now keep them into that staggered position. You don't want them to float together. So one of the things that might happen is that you might bend the knee a little bit, that's okay. Just really push through that heel and make it a statement, make it a, a feeling that you really kind of pull that hamstring out of its position. And make sure you're breathing. That's really important. Good. Can we rotate that leg just a little bit more? So inhale, exhale, try to turn them out just a little bit more so that your inner thigh is almost your face. There you go. There you go. A little bit shaky shake. Now point those feet. Really keep them in that turnout. Really feel that staggered part of it because when we walk, we're staggered. So this is really important. Now with that point, turn them all the way back in. So it's a turn in. So you're trying to go 180 degrees. You can't, but you're trying to. You, you, you put intention into it, breathe into it. Now flex those feet in that position. Don't let the uh, ankle detach the foot from the leg so you don't have that torque to ankle. Make sure everything's parallel. So in that flex. And then bring it back to center, point the front leg up, flex the back, and then switch, and then switch, and then switch, and then point both feet, take the front leg out to the side. Okay. Push down. Now I want you to put your hand on the roller, and then bring the other arm over and take it across. You can drop the other leg down. Get that nice big stretch. Yeah. Then bring it back up to the center and bring the other leg beside it. And we're going to do that to the other side. So drop this leg, push this other leg away. Let's do those big four stretches. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Big inhale and exhale lower. Last one, birthday cake. Come on, all those candles. Good. And hold it right there. Yeah, feel that opening. Now try to keep that leg straight because we're working on our strategy is to try to get the hamstring more flexible and these connectors more flexible. So if you bend it, then you're just putting weight in your thigh and you're not letting that opening happen. So even if your leg is up here, even if you need to wrap a strap or a towel around it, you're getting closer to that flexibility than if you bend, right? All right, let go of the leg, bring the other one up to center, point both legs, flex both legs, point both legs, flex both legs, point them, flex them, and then turn them. Sorry, just again. I know I, I talk about roller almost religiously, right? I'm so into it. <sighs> Try to get it to turn just a little bit more. <sighs> but a lot of us have experienced healing in our body because of our use it with the roller. Point those feet, keep them turned out. So I really feel like it is important for the health of our frame. And then rotate them all the way in. Come on, you could do it. Good, and then that flex. Yeah. And then center them, point the back and flex the front, and then switch, and then switch, and then switch, and then switch, and point both feet. All right, take the front leg out to the side. And 
and then dropping the other leg down, you grab the roller and you take it. Let yourself come up onto your head. That's why you're grabbing the roller to get some security in your position. Feels so good. And then bring that leg up. The other leg comes up to meet it. Make sure you're over your roller. Don't let it drop forward, right? You're over your roller. Nice. Now take it out into our big wide position. Relax the feet. Don't let them just relax them. You want to feel an opening in the inner thigh. Then getting those helicopters. Get the motors going. Let's go. And swinging. Let's go. Nice. You just want to open everything up. After all that hard focus work, you want there to be some flow work, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then let them stop on their own. Soften the knees so that you load the inner thighs this time. And then we bring them together on the count of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, and one. Right leg to tabletop. Left leg to tabletop. Right foot to the floor. Left foot to the floor. Push off. Get the roller out from under you. Stay up there. Then come down vertebrae by vertebrae. Really carefully. Let everything open up under you. Bring one knee up, then the other knee up with the hands underneath. Open them, rock side to side to get that massage on your hip. Ruby work, you guys. Then roll it forward and bring yourself up to seated. Good. Roll your shoulders back. We're going to do our next today, too. We roll your shoulders forward just in case. Take it over to one side. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. And take it over to the other side. Come back to the center and breathe it up three times. Take it up and down. Two more up. 